I think, I think that despite everything that we're facing with the recession, foreign powers, our largest problem facing us is the deindustrialization of America. Our can do American spirit is being lost. We don't have the eye anymore. You gotta be able to go out and do it, and we don't have that. Our children don't know the difference between a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips. And if they did know the difference, they wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. I've been working for, I'd say, 25 years now as a mechanic. And I was always fascinated with motorcycles. And uh, that's where I stuck. Being able to make bikes that are 60, 70 years old perform as good as they ever did. Maybe not as good as new bikes, but as good as they ever did. Something to be said about that. It's very rewarding. The vintage bikes have much more style and panache. And it's more of an accomplishment. And it's the cool factor. It's the James Dean, the Marlon Brando, and the wild one. You know, it's Fonzie for Christ's sake. When I was a kid, if I was offered the opportunity to work in a shop like this, you would kill for it. You would eyeball a mini bike in the corner and tell them, well, I'll work if you give me that mini bike or something. But today's youth, not only do I not feel that they have the physical ability to do the industrial, whatever it may be, but they don't have the aptitude or even the desire. They don't even care. You know, it's it's just it's disheartening. But I bet every generation said that. Our generation before us said that about us. But I really do think that it's going to be a lost art. There are going to be fewer and fewer people who can do this. And I, I don't really right now see who the next me is. Where's the next me? I think maybe we have 200 motorcycles here. I really don't know. I've never really counted them all. And I kind of never want to count them because at one point uh, it might seem like too many to me, but then that same number might seem like way too few and it may upset my balance. So I like to keep the exact number an intangible amount. And I'd say two thirds of the stuff that's here is mine. And uh, one third of that is my never gonna sell it, ever, unless my wife tells me to. But still then, it's hard fought, it's hard fought. I honestly, every day I walk in here, I still can't believe this is my place. Because I do remember at a young age thinking, man, you know, having some crappy Honda, I couldn't get started, didn't get the girl, didn't make it to the dance, broke down in the rain, thinking to myself, am I ever gonna have a whole bunch of school bikes? And, one day I woke up and I did. It's not because I have any money. I don't have any money. I do not have any money. But if I got some money, I'd buy a motorcycle. Another one. It, it was, it's a compulsion. That's what it is. It's purely a compulsion. I couldn't and wouldn't do anything else I have tried. <laughs>